In a bug war, some battles are like cage fights. It's muscle on muscle, no holes barred, and no referee to stop the fight. The Desert Scorpion and the Desert Centipede are a menace to many creatures, especially each other. If you want to survive in a hostile habitat, you'd better be made of tough stuff. And they don't come tougher than the Desert Scorpion and its superb fighting weaponry. Two main things that scorpions have that are unique to scorpions. First, they have a stinger at the base of their tail that has quite a potent venom. In addition, their palps have been modified into pinchers. Those huge extended pincers grab their prey in a vice-like grip. But they're not the only claws. Modified mouth parts mash up the fresh meat and shovel it in. Not all opponents are quite so obliging. Tonight, the Desert Scorpion encounters an equally brutal fighter. The Desert Centipede. If you're a bug, there's a few creatures you do not want to mess with. This is one of the most effective killers of the entire arthropod world. One of the speediest on the bug world fight card. The desert centipedes, 42 feet, are fast and deadly. Every one of the centipedes' feet is tipped with a very sharp spike, and this allows them to traverse any kind of terrain, soil, rocks, tree trunks, or even grass. The top flight, only three or four legs are supporting the entire body. So they're like a venomous hovercraft. At the front end are two vicious venom claws that inject toxins that ravage its victim's major organs. So like its scorpion opponent, the centipede, too, can finish off a fight with a lethal injection weapon. But they can also use it to rip the prey apart, so they're sort of a biological Swiss Army knife. Tonight, the desert scorpion faces a nightmare opponent. Scorpions are really good predators, but they're not that mobile in the vast scheme of things. Compare this to the freight train of a centipede. These guys are really zippy. They're strong, and unless they're a whole lot smaller than that scorpion, I think the centipede has to win. Next, a stinging, clawing fight to the finish. And later, a blood fest in the rainforest blossoms. On the rocky desert floor, two menacing night fighters are about to go head to head. Size, speed, and tactics will matter. And both have the fight skills to finish each other off. The desert centipede sizes up the scorpion with its antennae. The desert centipede tries a direct hit. But there's no avoiding those pincers. The centipede attacks again. The scorpion tries to run, but the centipede has it by the tail. 
There aren't too many creatures that would be game to grab a scorpion by the tail, but the centipede is strong enough to pull this off. The centipede bites the scorpion's tail. What the centipede has done here is shut down the scorpion's main weapon. Now that the tail is completely immobilized, the stinger is useless. With the stinger out of action, all the scorpion has are its claws. It snaps at the centipede. Desert centipedes are pretty handy in wrapping up their prey. They'll use their entire body and all their legs to hold the prey perfectly in place while it delivers its venom. The centipede climbs over its victim's back and sinks in its venom claws. It's a knockout and submission hold all in one. But in this cage fight, there's no tapping out. The scorpion is never going to win this fight by trying to out-wrestle a 42-leg brute. Now that the centipede has its venom in, it's all over. When these two night fighters step into the cage, there's no prize money. But you do get to eat your opponent.